school district. Now, this is a $3.5 million increase from the $91.5 million budget last year. And we also saw several things today on how they are trying to address the tax increase that was originally projected to come from this. The Burlington City Council had questions ready for Tuesday's school district budget presentation with a lot of discussion around a 7.4% increase in the property tax rate compared to just 4.86% last year. The district attributed that to a wide range of challenges but said the hike was originally going to be around 10.5%. We recognize the commitment that the community has given us in terms of the last several years, improving our budgets and also bonds. And so we've worked really hard to try to reduce that tax impact. So we've applied a million dollars of surplus. We've done some reductions to the district. At the same time, maintain the same level of standard of uh, programming for next year. The key additions to the budget include funding for safe and inclusive schools investments, along with computer science and early literacy boosts. The reductions listed will be covered in part by a $200,000 contingency increase if more funds are needed. We asked Superintendent Yao Bang why these additions were prioritized and what circumstances made them necessary. Issues around safe schools and being able to support safety in schools and also developing uh, strategies for, for teachers to monitor safety around recesses, un, un, unstructured times. Those social emotional issues are things that come into our schools and impact our instructional days. And so we're looking for ways to sort of mitigate those so we can continue to focus on, on the learning. City councilors up for re-election considered if the budget is what voters want, and Councilor Sharon Busher said that with an increase in the public safety tax rate also on the table, she's worried it'll all be too much for her constituents. They're just uh, an increase away from having to make other choices about where they live. I see the bind you're in. I see the fixed costs that are driving your budget. Now, as we mentioned, a busy night otherwise for the Burlington City Council. Several charter change amendments were discussed today and will be discussed again next Monday. One of those being whether or not legal non-citizens should have the right to vote in the city of Burlington. The other was also proposed tax increases for the Housing Trust Fund and public safety. We'll be sure to bring you much more on that as we head towards town meeting day in March. But for right now, live in Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 22 News. All right, thank you, Devin. 170.